What's up everybody? This is Chase here to give you 10 tips for beginners or anybody just picking this game up for the first time. Okay. Number one, talk to your vendors. I went six hours of playing this game, had no idea this NPC will allow you to upgrade attributes permanently, permanently. There are three NPCs total. The other two, you're not gonna get right off the bat. You have to unlock them by playing through the first level and rescuing them. Upon rescuing them, your next playthrough, you will see them appear in the beginning area. I'll tell you exactly what those vendors do. The Fox and the Ogre. The Fox drop you skulls from common to unique. Uh, the unique ones aren't gonna pop up often at all. The common ones will be the more redundant uh, drops that you'll get and they're all random the ogre is going to drop items just like the skulls from common to unique and they're all random okay number two know your currencies there are three of them you're going to see me zoom up on them in a second there are bones there are coins and there are pur purple quintessent gems know what those go towards and who to take those to um, for use okay number three and we'll get to that try different skulls you're going to run across a lot of skulls and you want to see what they do see if they cater towards your play style and most importantly look at those description of the skulls to see what kind of damage is done when you use them and that brings me to tip number four if you don't want to use a skull if you tried it out you don't like it make sure to destroy it there were several times where i dropped the skull walked away from it um and i forgot to destroy it so what ends up happening is when you destroy these skulls unwanted skulls you take the bones of uh, the currency from that and you'll upgrade your current skulls with those at an npc that you're going to meet later so you want to stack up on bones okay also number five be aware of your environment there are environmental hazards uh some that can be used against you and some that you can use for your help like exploding barrels can be used to kill enemies but don't damage you but you have traps and spikes that you can run into that will damage your health um and the next tip that i would like to give to you guys is have patience don't rush into anything if you dash in all over the place you'll run into these traps that i just mentioned um, or you'll get trapped by a bunch of these enemies who just keep hitting you see i got a little too hasty right there and was running into one of the enemy's attacks also you use that patience to monitor the enemies that you're fighting and their move sets you want to be able to counter them as opposed to just hack and slash against them you want to get in and get out because you know you can't stagger bosses you have to know which enemies you can't stagger number seven know the difference between magical and physical damage see this character i'm using right here he uses magical damage the werewolf that you're about to see uses physical damage and you have to know these things because you're going to pick up items that cater towards these specific builds so you have to know which items go to what most importantly that will require you to read them so that brings me to tip number eight read the item descriptions so you're not stacking up a, a, on a whole bunch of magical items when you're using a physical based skull now every now and then you run across a skull that utilizes both um, the basic attacks will utilize physical damage and the abilities will utilize magic damage so be be on the lookout for that also look out for door colors that's tip number 10 the purple doors will mean that you're going into the shop the green doors mean that the reward at the end of that room will be a skull that door to the left the treasure door will reward you coins or quintessence or whatever other currencies all but the bones the bones can only be received once you break down unwanted skulls and you'll have another orange door and those basically reward you with random item drops they won't be currency well i think you can get gold from those doors but i think for the most part it's a random skull drop or a uh, random item drop at the regular orange door the door that isn't gold uh with the king's crown at the top those are your regular orange doors which are with random drops pretty much so those are my 10 tips uh for you guys um you would think these are common sense but i'm the type of person who will open a new product and just try to put it together myself or get a new phone don't read the directions don't know half the features that the phone may have you get what i'm saying so that's what happened when i came into this game you know i went through it didn't didn't have any idea about the mechanics and i missed a lot of stuff so hopefully this helps you out 
just to let you know, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 7 to 10 or 7 to whenever I finish. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. And <laughs> you see my man's mask is so cool. So cool. Hit that notification bell so you know when we go live and subscribe if you do thank you very much thank you for showing some love thank you for looking at the video and hopefully you guys like it and you like this dope mask you guys have a good one and take care